All right, so I want to quickly weigh in on the Valve controversy. Uh, people seem to think that Valve has DMCA'd two games, namely Portal 64 and Tier 2 Source 2, and I thought I'd help clear it up. So, Valve firstly only DMCA'd Tier 2 Source 2, and in this case it's because they clearly overstepped the line. Now, if you don't know what TF2 Source 2 is, it is basically a recreation of TF2 in Sandbox, a pre uh, sequel to Gary's Mod you made using the Source 2 engine, um, which is currently in a developer preview. Developers can make games on it and all of that. Now, the problem with TF2 Source 2 was that in an attempt to accurately, accurately recreate TF2, they took a bunch of its assets, which Valve owns the rights to, they own, it's theirs. Um, and in this case, their motors clearly overstepped the line, because they basically took all of Valve's assets, and they put them in their game. And so Valve DMCA'd them. That, that's kind of within their rights. Not only that, but the nail was basically already in the coffin, as it's, the project was mostly dead already. As the, due to a sandbox being in developer preview, it was its code was constantly changing, which made the code the TF2 source two developers made practically redundant. So it, they had lost all inspiration and motivation to do it. Now moving on to Portal sixty four, this is not a case. They weren't they weren't DMCA'd, you know. They don't they didn't overstep the line as a modder. What happened was, Valve was looking out for the little guy. So, Portal 64 is a port of the Portal game, Valve's Portal game, into the Nintendo 64. Which, you know, should be fine, except for the fact that it was using official Nintendo libraries. Now, Nintendo really likes to use their lawyers, and I think it's commendable to Valve that they contacted the creator and advised him to take down the project to avoid legal troubles, because I don't think anybody wants to go to court with Nintendo, uh, especially when you're like some little guy who's just a solo dev and doing your own thing. Like, you don't have the money to deal with Nintendo lawyers. So in this case, the creator chose of his own accord that, to take it down after seeing Valve's advice and going, oh hey, maybe I don't want to go on a lawsuit with, with um, Nintendo. And that that's it. What is there to complain about? So Valve hasn't changed. They still like the modding community. They let people not only do they let people put their mods and host them on Steam, it's literally so shown in the Steam library. I think Mega Scaragon is an example. If you download a portal mod such as Portal Revolutions, it won't show up as some weird menu in Portal. No, it's in your Steam library shown as like a separate game in your Steam apps folder. Um, and the fact that Valve allows that should already show that no, they don't hate modder creators because they support them and host them on their platform. Hey, uh, thanks for watching. I hope that explains it well enough. Uh, catch you in the next one.